Hello, good morning. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. Buenos dias. Salute. Servus. He is done. The German printing nerd. <laughs> Thomas. That was perfect, the delivery yesterday. Had to start last night with that open roll that you sent me. First parts printed, two parts. First part printed, next part is being printed. And just so that you can see, oh God, wait a minute. I have to uh, move some stuff around so that you can see everything. This is hard to believe. This is hard to believe. My desk is getting full. My desk is really getting full. Just take a look. Just take a look at all that. And uh, the next part is being printed on on my lovely peel poly plate. <laughs> next week I might be getting a package from a very good friend, Alex. And who knows? Might be able to start putting things together. But I'm not sure. Uh, as I said yesterday in my video, I measured the arms. You know, just two parts, then you have to glue them together. A little bit of sanding so that you get a cleaner edge for sanding. And then you have the bicep. This goes in here. Then you have a screw with a nut that you have to put through it. And then, if I can hold this without it falling apart, uh, let's see if I can do this without anything dumb happening. Okay, I got it. Then you have the shoulder. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have to hold it back some more. <laughs> And you see, you have here the arm. I measured it from this this edge over here up to this point, and that is 38 centimeters. And we know that his arms are long, you know, but uh, you can imagine when that is 38 centimeters. then I would guess that the Johnny Five that I'm making will be somewhere around 50, 60 centimeters tall. That's going to be cool, cool, cool. <laughs> right now it's printing all the mounting part for, uh, for the neck or neck plate or, hmm. I'm not sure. And in the Facebook group, I'm not exactly sure who that was. I left a comment for th thanks very much. But uh, I have this. Behind this, I printed all, all of the pictures out from where you can download them. 
and you have, for example, you can see here, a breakdown from all of the parts. Right now I'm working I'm working on part of the head, as you can see here. But uh, yeah, then you have the, the toolbox with 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 the laser inside of it. Ah, and the piece I'm print the piece of that I am printing right now is this piece down here. The Alex printed these two parts, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, next parts that I am looking at, that I was looking at, was these two parts. There I have a problem, and I think the Alex has the same problem. You might have to print them in four pieces. Lower parts, upper parts, sand them, glue them together, and maybe some uh, two-part epoxy hearts inside so that there's a strong bondage there where the two parts come together. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I think these parts have to be printed. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what all Alex is making. But the fun part, hell, the fun part, that is going to be the tracks. The tracks are not like here in one piece where you know, you cut it up, then you glue it together, then you fit it on, and it's done. No, -uh. the STL files that I have, the tracks are singular, one piece, and Eins 3D. In about a week or two, they are getting a TPU with. 98A, and according to the message that Thomas sent me over Facebook, cool, <coughs> very easy to print, <coughs> can be printed with normal speeds, you don't really need a heated bed for it. Oh, when I read this message, I was thinking, hey, that is uh, very interesting. And the Thomas, he's going to send me a test package. Might be enough so I can print one track. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not even sure what size the tracks are supposed to be. Uh, not uh, what size, but how many I will need. Oh, man. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> but... Uh, Because of the form of the tracks and everything, I'm going to have to figure out some way to print them without using any support. Because we all know uh, Flexi, uh, you can't print Flexi with support <laughs> because you're going to have a big problem afterwards cutting off all of the support. Uh, the TPU that is that is rated at 98A, that is a very stiff TPU, where you can, I would say, print just like a PLA, but um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I have to wait a, one or two weeks to see what it is, what the Thomas sent me. And try it out. One thing's for sure, I will not have any problems with my micro Swiss hot end, all metal hot end. I won't have any problems with that. Biggest question is if it's going to, if the print can be done without any support for the tracks. That's my biggest worry right now. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. But I have enough parts to print until the, the TPU comes. And Thomas, God bless you, man. That was perfect timing.
That was perfect timing. Yeah. Have to get back to work now. See what else I can do. Just want to say everything's going good. I wish you all happy printing and have a nice day. Until the next time. Bye.